Hi there, it's Elaine, and yes, it's another swatch video, but it is so not just another swatch video. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership 5. It is the most iconic palette in my collection. I got it as a special gift to myself for a pretty special birthday. Um, of course, I got it three months in advance, but that's when the sale was, so it was just a matter of timing. And I am going to swatch it with you today. And I have only swatched four shadows out of the ten, and that was with a friend of mine, Steph. We, we did it on uh, an Instagram live video, and that was a lot of fun. And, uh, and I want to swatch all ten of them with you today. Now, I hope that the special shades will come through for you because that is the main reason that I got this palette. And so here it is. And these are the four special shades down here. Now, out of all Pat McGrath palettes, this is the one, the one that speaks to me. And along with this palette, I did get one other kind of the high-end Pat McGrath items. And it's the Astral Quad. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, but today the focus is on the Mothership 5 because it really is the palette out of her entire collection that has had my name on it since its release. I have drooled buckets over it. Pardon the visual on that one. And I'm so excited to share it with you. So we are going to swatch it. I am going to go from this end toward the special shades. And I have to say, this guy right here is very intriguing to me. And I think that this deep aubergine, I would really, really quite like. And I think I'm going to do only two swatches at a time because there's only 10 shades total. And I'm really, uh, curious to see how they're going to go and they do seem like they really pair together quite nicely so not so much the, the special shades but the first three rows or columns they do look like they're almost coupled together and I will do my best to give you the names as I go along so we have skin show divine glow and extreme aubergine or aubergine uh, as the first two shadows and I will double swatch because that's just what I do. And there are three mattes in this palette, which I think is a lot better than the typical one in the six pans. So this um, Extreme Divine Glow is the first one. This is so exciting, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited to see exactly in person what these are like. Wow, that is a weird one and very flaky. Okay, so we've got those two, Extreme Divine Glow, no, sorry, uh, Divine, what's it called again? Skin Show Divine Glow and Extreme Aubergine. And we're going to go into the pan a second time. I am unable to say professional. <laughs> I am just so, so stinking excited. Okay, the thing is, that extreme aubergine or aubergine, it almost looks like it can be a black. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand here with whatever is left. Now it's, it's, it's really stuck to my finger. But it just, it just looks like it can deepen a look all the way as much as a black could. And that's, that's kind of exciting. Next, we have entrapment and guilty pleasure. And guilty is spelt without the U, which is kind of neat. Another nice, smooth matte. I don't know how that one's going to swatch. And this one makes me think of um, something taupe uh, from the... Uh, 
from this palette, the Platinum Bronze. It makes me think of one of the shadows in that one. But no, on the finger, it looks different. In the pan, it looks the same. Okay. So Entrapment. And Guilty Pleasure. Oh, those are a nice pairing for sure. But pretty, pretty basic. That the, These would not be the ones that I would be super excited about in this palette. The next two are more interesting to me. Right. Entrapment. And guilty pleasure. Okay, so, so far, you might be saying, Elen, why were you so excited about this palette? Well, I have to say the aubergine color. These, these two I'm more excited about, like I said. This one, I think, even though it swatches like a train wreck, I can, I can just see how it's going to work really nicely. So, and, and I'm, a, I'm a sucker for purple. And I think that you can smoke this one out to barely nothing or you can um, have it be 100% intense. I think it can be a liner, it can be anything. And it's probably going to be the deepening base for any of my looks, seriously. Now we have Bronze Blaze and Disobedient. And Bronze Blaze is very gritty. And Disobedient is the third of three mattes. Bronze Blaze. Oh my goodness! Holy cow! And Disobedient. Okay, I am not doing a double swatch of those two. There's no point. Look at that color. I just used what was left on my finger and it still gave a full swatch. This would be a swatch that I would expect from any eyeshadow. No big deal. That is insane. Holy cow, and it's, it's gorgeous. Okay. It's kind of, it's bronze, but it has a a peachy undertone. So this one and this one, that would look so good. Okay, we are at six of the shadows, and now we're getting into the special shades, although that bronze color feels pretty special. Okay, we are going to go into the special shades. As I said, we're going to go into these two, and we have Rose Gold 005, and Blitz Flame. Rose Gold 005 and Blitz Flame. This is um, very much a pinky salmon twin of the bronze glitz or glitz bronze bronze blaze and oh yeah rose gold and then blitz flame that's where i got blitz from and blitz makes me think of a colored rain eyeshadow that that really feels like a colored uh, rain formula i won't re-swatch this one i think it's got enough punch, but I will uh, re-swatch this one, Blitz Flame, just to get the full effect of it. Yeah, but it definitely makes me think of Colored Rain. Colored Rain has some beautiful eyeshadows. I almost don't want to sway <laughs> I don't want to clean those two off. They look so good. Okay. So we have just 
the last two and it almost feels it's like a crescendo <laughs> it kept getting better and better and i do appreciate that the base of the palette is plastic and so it's easy to wipe off which when you have cardboard packaging it just doesn't wipe off as nicely holy cow this this is multi-dimensional that is neat Okay, this last one is very, very gritty. I'm going to forget these. This is um, VR Fire Opal, so Virtual Reality Fire Opal, and this is Astral Lunar Gold. No, Astral Luna Gold. Fire Opal. And Astra Lunar Gold. Look at those last two. I think you can see the blue shift in the camera. And the Fire Opal, I think it's called. Yeah, VR Fire Opal is has it's peach with a lime green. And if you have been watching my videos um, over the last half of a year. You will have noticed me doing red and green combos over and over. I think I've done at least six sets of combos of red and green. And it's this palette that has um, given me that inspiration. And I've loved the combo every single time. And I've had a lot of compliments on the combo regularly. And so to me, these two are just going to be a fantastic pairing. And I'm kind of curious of what I'm going to put this astral opal with, given it's a blue and peach. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to know what, what I'm going to do with, with this one. I'll have to watch maybe some other people's videos. But out of the whole palette, I am excited except for two colors. I don't care for these so much and if I were pressed to say which one I, I like the least it's that it's this one I would be fine if that was not included in the palette I would much have preferred a, a beige I think that this one and I realize this is a cooler brown but I feel like this one and this one would have been sufficient I don't I just don't care for this color and I say this, this would be a good base for this one, I think. And this could be a good base for this one. I just, yeah, a, a, a kind of a warm brown, meh. Um, I guess it could, I could use it as liner, but I'd probably go for this one. And, and this one, I'm really intrigued. To me, this is a dark night. I'm very curious to know how this is going to apply. And this is just a swatches video. This is just my first thoughts on each one. And as we know with eyeshadow, you layer eyeshadow and they look different. They give different kinds of illusions, different kinds of finishes when they're put one on top of the other. So with all those special shades and the, the, the glitters and like these two for sure, Actually, this one is, is nice too, but I have, I have something similar here. I have something similar here. But the, the ones that look obvious that we can layer, so, so all of the light micro glitter ones, so these guys, um, this one not so much, these two not so much, these two at the end for sure, and this one I'm not sure. I think that on the first swipe it showed kind of a lack of opacity that it would possibly be a transformer shade, but I will have to experiment um, with that. I'm really curious, intrigued. I'll leave you with, with uh, one question. Please let me know which one is the one that really got your attention or the couple that really got your attention. And if you were to pick what I would use 
as a first impressions, what would be your picks? What would be your preference? And I won't repeat the names again, but let's go from one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to let me know which shadows would be your preference for first impressions, uh, that would be great. It would be helpful in me trying to uh, determine a look for my first use on camera of this palette. And I'm actually going to leave it as a first impressions. So I will not cheat. I will not do a look off camera with this palette without you. Anyway, that's it for the swatches. Thank you so much for joining me for this um, extra special uh, swatches video uh, today. I, I would say this was a a very enjoyable one. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know uh, what you would like me to use first. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But for now, take care.